Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. That's the opening line to Edgar Allan Poe's narrative poem, The Raven. And I'll tell you why we're starting here in a moment. Now, as a kid, I stuttered, and badly. It was terrible, and I really don't want to talk about it, but here we are, and uh, maybe I'll delete it later, I don't know. So throughout middle school, I found myself in a weekly group with other kids with speech impediments that was led by a speech pathologist. We studied tongue twisters and other verbal exercises, but my favorites were poems and speeches, hence the raven. It wasn't the meaning of the words that captured my imagination. I was 10 or 12 years old. I had no idea what the words meant. But the way the words connected and flowed from one phrase to the next, that just seemed magical to me. For me, this is the same as jazz improvisation. I don't always understand the musical idea, but I enjoy the way the overall sound swings and flows, which brings us to the focus of this lesson. Now, in previous lessons, we worked on chords, the blues form, jazz rhythms, and time feel. It's time to work on single note improvisation. The challenge of learning how to improvise in the jazz style is similar to the challenge that I had trying to organize words and speak them to convey a thought. And it all has to do with swing, time feel, and flow, connecting the ideas. It sounds easy, but tell that to a 10-year-old who stutters. This is the same overwhelming feeling that I had when I tried to solo in the jazz style. I heard all these beautiful ideas in my head and I couldn't get them to flow because the first beautiful idea came to a stammering halt somewhere between my throat and my lips. How did I get past this? By connecting the dots. This brings us to this exercise and uh, I call it the minor pentatonic and connecting the dots. Now, when it came to being able to express myself, I began with something that I already knew what it sounded like. For example, the raven. I had no idea what it meant, but I had like the first stanza memorized, so I would develop my flow from one phrase to the next, one line to the next, and one stanza to the next. So here's the connecting the dots exercise and how it applies to us for, uh, for our playing purposes. One, begin with a very familiar scale. Now, I always use the A minor pentatonic scale. We all know it, we all love it. Two, take out your drum machine app. Many of you already know, I like Drum Genius. Three, choose a swing pattern we already have. And four, play the eighth notes up and down the scale. Try to change the order randomly without breaking the eighth note pattern. That's the key, don't break the pattern. Record yourself. This is the last thing, this is number five. Record yourself and listen without judgment. Don't say things like, that was terrible, I suck. Instead, say to yourself, this needs work or that needs work. Then decide whether to speed up or slow down the tempo. You'll be swinging and flowing in no time. All right, so let's get our drum app going. The goal here is just to keep that eighth note pattern going steadily. Let's not break the pattern. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, now if you have that comfortably, generally what I also do is I like putting on a timer. Try to do it, try to keep it going for like two minutes. Once you have the eight notes, you can switch to eighth note triplets. One, two, three, four. And it, once, once these rhythms get comfortable with you and you feel the time feel is grooving, then you can try using different patterns. You can try connecting different parts of the scale. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's it. 
That's all there is to it. Put on the drum pattern and play eighth notes. When you get comfortable with eighth notes, play eighth note triplets. If you struggle with eighth notes, play quarter notes. No problem with playing quarter notes. Two, two, three, four. All right, have fun with that and I'll see you next time.